the tension is palpable and you can understand why two high level sides about to face each other and it's anyone's guess how this is going to end up it's Sevilla they take on Real Madrid and it's coming up next on EA TV Hello and welcome to the Estadio Ramon Sanchez Pizjuan, built in the late 1950s and named after the former president of Sevilla. My name is Derek Ray and my commentary partner on this occasion is Stuart Robson. And we're focusing on, technically speaking, one of the best leagues in the world. I'm talking, of course, about La Liga. It's Sevilla and they take on Real Madrid. Well, thanks, Derek. The best coach I played under would always tell us before kickoff, earn the right to play. If you can win your individual battles, outrun your opponent, eventually you'll get the space to show your ability. I'm sure that's being echoed by the coaches here today. Trying to open them up. And this is how Sevilla will line up. In goal, it's Marco Dimitrovic. Marcos Acuna plays with Jesus Navas in the fullback positions. Suso starts with Eric Lamela out wide. And they line up with just the one striker looking to do a bit of damage. Moving into the advanced position. But they took care of the situation defensively. Well, Real Madrid have real know-how when it comes to preventing goals. And the record... Eric, he's got to tuck this away. Oh, not to be! Stopping a certain goal. And the starting 11 for Real Madrid. Okay. A real opening now. Great movement. Oh, a vital piece of superb defending. Jude Bellingham. Rodrigo. Can he convert? And a goal! That will do it. They've been pushing for it. And now they've been rewarded. Well, this is a very tidy finish, as you can see. He's under so much pressure, but his strength just allows him to hit through the ball cleanly. It's an excellent goal. Well, I love the celebration, but Ancelotti's got to get his players refocused now. So underway again here, one nil the score. And the advantage accrues to the attacking side. Marcos Acuna. Lamela. Could cross it in here. Can he finish? Well, still an issue here. And the goalkeeper has outdone himself with that save. the short one really good build up but no end product Rodrigo Jose Lu now with Bellingham and he's going to be disappointed with that pass Lamela Targets available, cross comes in. Oh, tremendous goal! Technical excellence to finish that one off. Wonderful to have that in your repertoire. Let's see this again, because the delivery into the box couldn't be any better. Played into just the right area. And then just look at the finish, Derek. He reads the flight perfectly and absolutely smashes it beyond the goalkeeper. There's just no stopping that. So back underway. They've levelled it at 1-1 here. Come on. 
Carvajal. Here's Valverde. Oh, he looks threatening. Can he finish? Just needed to put it on the target, but it didn't happen for them. Well, in those situations, you expect him to score. He just got it all wrong there. Well, he can't believe his side haven't taken the lead there. That was a big chance. And now Suso. Very quick thinking there. Well, the referee not too happy with the challenge and blows for a free kick. Well, the footballers have an internal radar. The radar wasn't working that time. Yeah, I'm assuming he won't be taking the next one. Federico Valverde and now Rodrigo Aurelien Chouameni now with Bellingham trying to open up the defence and there it is, a chance well a forceful effort but it goes down as a missed opportunity well he strikes it with power but not with accuracy I think that's a big miss And now Suso. Well, just the tackle that was needed. Jude Bellingham. Chouameni. Now Jose Lu. And Bellingham. Can they forge ahead? They do! And you've got to say, they're good value for the lead. Well, here's the replay. He's done well to get his head up, pick out a teammate, and the movement is good, making for a comfortable finish. It's a really great goal. Well, that reaction says it all. That's such an important goal in this game. So the ball is rolling again. 2-1 the scoreline. to equalise that is how to keep it out of the net this corner could be useful to them well just listen to the fans they know this is a big chance here <laughs> trying to pick out a teammate well, not the best clearance Rakitic. Now with Rakitic. And this is Navas. Has eyes for goal. Palmed away by the keeper. And there's the whistle. The first half action comes to an end here at the Estadio Ramon Sanchez Pituan. Well, they've got things going again here, and I wonder what kind of second half we have in store for us.
determined defending. Now counter-attacking possibilities. Carvajal laid into the box. Well, thumped clear. And play halted, free kick given. There to take it away. Rodrigo. Well, there's the pullback. And Bellingham was always likely to be the goalkeeper's ball. And a timely intervention. Fran Garcia. It's there for him. Pulls it back. Reading it well. Denied again. Might be a chance to break. Well, unfortunately, it fizzled out in the end. Well, Real Madrid have certainly had all the possession over the last 15 minutes. And their attacking play has been excellent. Surely only a matter of time before they extend their lead here. And offside, unfortunately. Well, a pass like that has got to be spot on. And in the end, it wasn't. Fran Garcia... Jose Lu, Garcia. And teammates to play it to. It has to be. Well, that's a really top-notch piece of defending. Valverde. Firing it towards goal. And the keeper throws himself at the ball. Both managers deciding this is the time to change things around. Both teams going to the bench. A short corner here. Valverde cutting it back. Effort from long distance. Able to get a body in the way. Just can't get it past them. Well, Real pushing to add to the lead. It's a corner. And played short. Angles it back. Valverde. It's a perfect challenge. 20 minutes to go in this one. Will it be? No shortage of excitement. Level again. No wonder they're excited. Well, here's the goal again, and it's a great ball to put him through. Good vision to set up the chance, and his movement's so clever. Once he gets onto it, there's only one thought in his head. Smash it as hard as possible. What a good goal. So, underway again, and it's a story of parity. Two goals apiece on this one. Jose Lu. He read the situation defensively and did his job. Can they hit on the break? Not the best challenge, free kick. Failure to keep the ball by Sevilla. 
Well, let's get more details on the injury situation from our pitch side reporter, Jeff Shreves. He landed really heavily on his shoulder there. You can see the discomfort he's in. But he's a tough guy. I think he'll Sorry carry to on. Sorry to interject. It's a chance. Terrific save. Suso. Yusuf and Nesiri. Chances on. And a great save to keep the scoreline level. Well, that's what you want from your keeper. Big saves at vital times. Well, both teams have had substitutes swarming up. And now both will rely on their respective benches. Now, how about the short corner? Rakitic. Ramos. Jesus Navas now. Oh, he looks threatening. Oh, a really good save, and it remains all square. Well, he's just saved his team from defeat here. It's a great save, I would say. It's a short one. Ramos. Well, using the space really well, you've got to say. Must take the lead here. And they do. And with so little time left, that will surely be decisive. Astonishing drama. Well, just watch this again. It's a really good goal, but it's no surprise, is it? They've been in complete control here. The game has been restarted. 3-2 here. Jude Bellingham. And there goes the final whistle. It ends in defeat for Real Madrid, much to the disappointment of their supporters. Well, how wrong could I be? Because today they defended really poorly. There was a lack of hunger to win the ball back. The recovery runs were too slow. And they got beaten in the box too many times. I just didn't see that coming.